Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. The Java type counter problem on HackerRank typically requires you to count the occurrences of different data types in a given set of inputs. Here's a detailed breakdown of the problem, the approach to solve it, and a code example. Hashtag 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 problem overview. You are given a list of inputs, each of which can be of different types, example integers, strings, floating point numbers, etc. The goal is to count how many of each type are present in the list. Hashtag 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 steps to solve the problem. 1. Read input. First, you need to read the number of inputs and then the actual inputs themselves. 2. Determine type. For each input, determine its type. In Java, you can use instancyof to check the data type or try parsing the input. 3. Count types. Maintain counters for each of the different types you are interested in, example integers, strings, etc. 4. Output the counts. Finally, print the counts of each type. Hashtag 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 example input and output. Input asterisk. Output asterisk. Hashtag 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 code example. Here is a Java implementation for the described problem. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. 1. Input handling. The program first reads the number of inputs and then reads each input line by line. 2. Type checking. The is integer, is double, and is boolean methods are used to check the type of each input. Is integer, tries to parse the string as an integer. Is double tries to parse the string as a double is boolean checks if the string is true or false case insensitive three counting counters are updated based on the type determined for output finally it prints out the counts for each type hashtag 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 conclusion this implementation provides a straightforward way to count various data types from input you can expand the logic to include more data types or handle different edge cases based on specific requirements of the problem. Happy coding!